Are we live? Yeah, we should be live. Why is my computer not showing live? Um, today I'm going to be using the RAM micro motor, uh, the iCube carver. You guys can get these at RAM with 10% um, off, I believe. With the code carving fusion. If you go to the RAM site. So I wasn't um, planning on doing a live today. So we've got to make sure that, oh yeah, okay. So let me make sure I get everything up on the screen here. This is just going to be a small little carving. I'm going to do a little wood spirit or face on here or something on this piece. Where are you at, Jordy Larry? I'm in uh, British Columbia, Canada. That's where I am. Hi, Evo Rick. Sorry I didn't message you. I wasn't uh, planning on doing this, but this is basically just for you guys to chat amongst each other. This is a root piece I found on uh, Vancouver Island. And while it sits on the table a bit this way, so I'm going to carve a little wood spirit right here. Hello, everybody. Hi, Rump. Can you hear me all right, uh, Evo Rick? Hey, Lance. Love that uh, planter box that you made. So I'm going to be using um, this new cut saw, taper burr, in the RAM. This spins at, I think, 40,000 RPMs or 30,000. I don't know why I said Dremel cover, but whatever. This is basically really for um, you guys to chat amongst each other. So I don't know what, what kind of, like, I don't really... Well, I had to wash my floors today and clean my house, so I figured I might as well do a little wood spirit after. So I'll draw the forehead on first. And um, this isn't going to be anything special. It's just a wood spirit on a, on a little root piece. I need to make some smaller, more affordable carvings. This lady in the has a store, and she's selling my uh, carving, so... There's a little silly little nose. So you got the forehead, the eyes, the nose. Make that nose a bit thinner. I suggest for the very beginning carvers to um, draw their stuff on first. And make sure, draw it on with a pencil probably too, I'd say. I don't even know if this is going to be, like I don't know how punky this wood goes in the back here, so... Sorry I didn't uh, evil message you evil. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I'm going to carve for half an hour here. I already got a chance to tune in. Hope you're doing well. It's it's getting warm here in the California desert. Hi, Dave. Yeah, it's hopefully, well, we got sun. It was raining this morning here, but um, I went and carved at my, oh, there's another, uh, hi, Glenn. There'll be another Jordy Does video out. Um, this weekend I curved yesterday when I didn't sleep all night. Man, I don't think I've ever been so tired in my life. So I just filmed, uh, I just filmed anyways, just because, well, why not, right? Whatever. I don't want to watch those long videos. Don't have to watch the long videos. Don't want to watch the video. Just don't watch the video. So we got the wood spirit drawn on here. So I think what I'll do is I'll... Take this four. I can't. I don't think I'm going to get too much depth in this piece, but I'll take this forehead back first and slope it back like this way. So then we can get the nose. Actually, I'm not even worried about the nose sticking furthest off the place. Let's just turn the fan on and start curving. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> and anybody that carves root pieces, they're always harder wood to carve. So I'll try and keep this on screen.
Yeah, so we got some rod up there already. Now I'm sloping it back. Is that too close or you want me to zoom out a bit? How's that? Probably better. Okay, so I don't want to take this too deep. It's already deep enough there. Now I'll redraw the nose back on. And we got a crack down the middle here by the nose. So let's try and, so see this crack here? Try and offset that crack. Well, I don't know how we're gonna, but we'll make the nose over here. No, can't, screw it. We'll just carve deeper. So there's a hot mess for you drawn on there, but we'll figure it out. Like we always do. Hi, Linda. Okay, so I'm going to cut across the eyes first. Then I'm going to cut, taper that back. Then I'm going to cut around the nose. Slope the forehead back a bit more. Okay, now around the nose. This bit's probably a little bit too thick for this little wood spirit. Okay, now I'm going to cut the, see there? I'll remove the, I'm not going to cut the mustache in. Yeah, this probably isn't the best fit to be using. I'm going to switch bits here. 
I'm going to put in this other, uh, I think it's the taper. This other taper burr. It's longer and here's the two taper burrs. This one's longer and skinnier. I'll put that one in. It's so, so, so nice about these hand pieces. You just click it. And pull the burr out. I'm still tired today. Burr's in. So anybody got any quick questions? I'm going to have a quick sip of my uh, coffee here. Hey, Dennis. How you doing, buddy? Dennis New Newland has a YouTube channel, everybody there. I know Mark the Maker's here, too. Hi, Mark. Mark's got a YouTube channel. You guys want to go over there and subscribe to them? We're going to do that trade, Dennis. Dennis, hey, there's Bap, too. Hey, Bap. There, I can carve. We've got three other YouTubers in the house right now. Oh, and Evil Rick's got a YouTube channel. So we got four. Um, Dennis made a real nice, he's a wood turner too. He made a real nice uh, wood bowl with these little, um, uh, they're like uh, little gum things. Like They're like peanuts that fall off the tree, but they're gum things. They're little spiky things. And I asked him if he wanted to make a trade for a wood spirit for one of those uh, bowls. So I don't know if he's going to make be able to make a red one. I don't want it to cost you too much money there, Dennis. You know, like, because I know that epoxy stuff. Because he he mixed the gumballs, gumball things from the tree in with uh, epoxy, and then he turned it. Super. Uh, I think Uncle Kevin lives there. Who's that? Uh, Rick? Gary? So Dennis... I'd love to see a video of you making that bowl if you want to. You know, like if you got the, um, if, you, if you don't want to make another one with the with the blood red that I said, that's fine. We'll trade you for the one that you already made if you still want to. Where's uh, Uncle, what, does somebody live in Courtney? Here. Because you said Uncle Kevin lives there. Rick, sycamore tree? I've carved uh, sycamore. I think I, no. Not, no, a lictopus. <laughs> lictopus wood. Somebody from Courtney in here? Gary was asking if anybody lived near Vancouver. I live 10 minutes outside of Vancouver, Gary. I've got it started, Joy. Going on a two week vacation next week. So we'll, so it'll be coming. I have a video. Awesome, man. I can't wait to watch that video. I'll give you a choice. Wicked. Thanks, Dennis. Yeah, I've been kind of looking for your video. I'm not subscribed to too many YouTube channels because I just want to keep up with my friends. And I don't comment a lot because I watch them on my TV at nighttime. So. And then I forget to go over on my phone and uh, comment. But I do watch. I do watch them. Tons of fun carving. How you doing? I think you're out there in Belfast or Ireland. How much for this RAM? This RAM, you can get it on the RAM site for uh, this iCube carver. It's, uh, I think it's like 180 bucks American, but then if you use the code carving fusion, you can save yourself another 10%. I don't make anything off it. You know, I could... Like they tried, Ram said, do you want to make money on it? And I said, no, I don't want to make money. I'd rather have my uh, subscribers save money. So there's absolutely nothing in it for me. But Ram did send this to me for free to show all my videos. And I have the bigger Ram Carver too, but. Oh, hi, Kelly. Thanks. Yeah, I do that too. Sometimes I watch on my TV when I'm actually able to see somebody going live, I'll watch on my TV and um, comment on my phone. So yeah, this ROM, um, I suggest it, man. I got, I've had, I've had two other types of micro carvers too, and um, this one's, I like the ROM. I'm not saying it's the best, but I like it, and it's, you know, the Dremels are the Dremel 4000s in the flex shaft. You're looking at like $160, so you're way better off getting one of these than uh, Dremel. 
Oh, good. Good work. Too bad you didn't. Did you talk to them? Because you could have. I could have got you some money off of it. Did you email with them or did you just buy it? I'm going to get one of those sooner or later too. I'd like to see you. Um, I think I'm subscribed to you, Mark. Because um, I uh, got all my knives and stuff like that. So I think think I um, there was a time there where I just unsubscribed to so many channels. I had too many channels. And so but I think I resubscribed to you because I know you use knives and stuff like that. So I got to learn more knife carving and stuff too. So. I think you're way better off getting one of these um, these ram carvers, and they're so much more quieter. And they throw, I don't care what anybody says, they throw less dust to the Dremel. They care, watch, I'll turn it on right now with no fan. Here, I'll put it right by the microphone. I'll turn it off and off. This microphone is noise reduction, but I'll turn it on and off. So, watch, I'll start it in my hand. It's so much like, watch, watch, it will not even. There. I don't know. I just think they're. I can't carve as hot. Oh, we got some rot. We got some rot happening up here in the head. Yep. I'm not going to be able to carve much deeper. See that? We got some rot. We got some cut. We got a blow through. We got a cut through. Uh, yeah, Mark. Too bad, man. I could have saved you a couple bucks. Um, I am going to get one of those too, so make sure you make a video of it because I don't really know what, I got like four cordless Dremels and the other, like Dremels and rotary tools and it, I don't know if I'll be a little bit too heavy hands for that or not. I sold my MIG welder, welder and bought the carver with that money, wicked. Good for you. I'm sure. Well, I'm sure you're you're so precise and and uh, partic, um, what would be the word would be, um, you're like a perfectionist. So it would be. I think it would be a great tool for you. Negative space. That's right, Mike. We're gonna have. It's gonna end up being a negative space wood spirit. Can you guys see that up there where it blew through? Got a blowout. <laughs> Definitely quarter on the TV. Excuse me. Who is from Vancouver Island? Or who asked if anybody was close to Vancouver? It's definitely quieter on the TV. So I guess I should get this little guy done. I don't think he's going to have real eyes. We'll probably have a blowout when I try and carve fake eyes. So this is going to be a negative space wood spirit. Gary, where are you? I don't see any Gary in here. I don't see his comments. I'll probably carve an eagle head on this branch here. Gary. I am from the island. Oh, cool. Whereabouts? Hi, Gary. Whereabouts? Do you ever see my uh, Vancouver Island videos? Actually, I got to go back there in a couple weeks. I got a couple people want me to do some carvings for them in their yards. And I might have a big 12 foot co carving commission piece to do here, about 25 minutes away from my house. Whereabouts in the island are you, Gary? Maybe you're not the quickest texter. I should slow down in my texting because I always spell things wrong. Okay, well, I guess I should stop wasting time. I don't even feel like curving right now, but whatever. Is this thing spinning? Eva Rick, can you say something? So we got, we'll put the mustache back in here. How far are you from Newfoundland? Oh, Port Alberni. Cool. I love Port Alberni, actually. I know a girl that, um, she's actually pretty good looking. She, she's, um, 
she moved to Port Alberni. One of my old friends, uh, one of my old friends that I grew up with in Port Alberni, I don't know, maybe you knew him. It's not a huge town. His name was Doug White. He, he died on a fishing boat. And I went over there for his, for his funeral. Doug White was his name. David, hey man, I love your work. I started carving a couple months ago and I've got about 15 of them. They're okay. Great hippie. Not great hippie. Dave Bell Magazine, Arkansas, highest point in Arkansas. You gotta love it. Dave Mel Magazine, Arkansas. I'm not too sure. Highest point in. Anyways, hi, Dave. Yeah, this is just a root piece. But I just figured I'd, I'd carve it with this stick here because, well, it sits perfectly on the table. And it, you know, whatever. Maybe you knew Doug White, uh, Gary, in Port Alberni, or you possibly heard of him when that boat, I think the boat uh, flipped over. He was one of my childhood friends. It was a few years back now, anyways. Maybe like uh, five years, six years back. Dave Mount. Okay, well, I'm going to start carving here. I don't know how many. Uh, Google, how many miles is Vancouver or Vancouver from Newfoundland? Linda, your, your eagles are good. They, as long as it says it's an eagle. I do not, I do not know white, but you must have, if you're, if you've lived in Port Alberni for a long time, you've must have, um, thanks. Thanks Gary. But you must have heard about when that boat flipped over and I think a bunch of people passed away. Okay. Let's get this, uh, mustache carved in and see how much more we can screw this piece up. Hi, Mr. Reed. Much better choice than Burr. Yep. Big blow out in the head. Now this is See the hole in the head now? We might as well extend that so it looks looks more rotten. So it's an old rotten wood spirit. Uh, 
Oops. Whoa! We got a blowout. We have a blowout. Might as well clean all this up. Whoa! Whoa! Might as well see if we can keep going with it. See, when I first started wood carving, if that would have happened to me, I would have just been like, fuck, it's, it's wrecked. But no, no. You've got to keep at it. Got a blowout. We got a blowout. Where's uh? Let's see here.
So now I'm just trying to use the color of the wood. I don't know. This is a little bit of a fuzzy piece. Here's a flop center. Okay, where's a little, a little, little, got this little, I think this is a diamond burr. Let's get rid of your cut lines, kind of, I guess, sort of. Okay, let's let's see what's going on there. 
I'm going to switch off the solder to get the this uh, scotch brake. I think that's kind of I think that's kind of all I, all it needs to be really Let's see here yeah it's solid in there so I don't even think it needs anything else. Um, what do you guys think? How about I just take it easy for a few minutes? Yeah, he's got a splitting headache there for sure. Dances. Hey, Woodsike, how are you? <clears throat> so that's... I don't think it needs anything else. Like I could, could try and carve a little fake eye in there, but it's just kind of something that's um, been in the wood for a long time and it's just kind of rotting away. Hands would look great. I could carve a bunch of eagle heads on all these things sticking off. I could carve an eagle head here. I just think I don't think it needs much more than that. Hey, Sean. What do you guys think? I'm good. Uh, it's like I'm pretty tired today, actually. I was, um, I think your real name's Paul. Um, I was curving all day yesterday with no I had no sleep I couldn't sleep at the nighttime so I uh went and chainsaw carved all day yesterday super tired and I didn't fall asleep till like five in the morning uh sorry midnight last night so I didn't sleep for like 40 40 40 hours or something Sitting on a rhino. I'm trying to give you guys better shadows so you can see it better. But you see that blowout? I just kept going with it, right? Who cares? It's the old face. And, uh, and I didn't want to give this guy nostrils because there's a little tiny crack right there. And there's no see it. If I'd carved nostrils, the uh, thing would have come out. I think I'm going to carve a eagle head in, head in here. Probably be like a thunder chicken, but it's okay. Do good, Jordy. Hey, Tommy. Kelly. Looking at your pieces like looking in the clouds, I always see different shapes and faces than anything else. Oh, thanks, Kelly. Yeah, I see. I can see faces anywhere now. I look. Yeah, you're live, Tommy. We're live right now. For sure we are. You're here. You made the live. So I think that's enough. I, I could carve an eye in there, a little micro eye, but whatever. I don't think it needs it. This is just kind of like, uh, I don't think it needs anything else.
but we will continue carving. Just carve Robbie Meter, bud. That a boy. That a boy. So, yeah, I'm going to carve an eagle head right here on this one. It would just be like a um, thunderbird. Leaves and vines, Jordy. No, Tucker. No, that's not a Jordy thing. Jordy does not carve the. Well, yeah, actually, I do. Wait till you see the green man that I finished. I don't know if you guys remember the big, huge green man that I've had at my tent for like two years. It's always been unfinished. Well, I finally finished it yesterday, and I didn't have no sleep. Yeah, awesome stuff you're carving. Yeah, that's right, Paul. Uh, Wood Sykes, his name's, real name's Paul. Awesome stuff you're doing, man. I love it. Those pine, those pine, um, those pine knots that you get, sticks and stone legs carving them too. They it's like you're carving us. Like you can, it's it's kind of like this, because there's so much sap in the wood, and you can take them down to such a fine finish. I'm gonna have a quick puff of cigarette. Then um, I don't know. Should I just leave this, or should I carve an eagle head here? But I hope I showed you guys an example. If something blows out, just keep at it. Who cares? Finish the piece. <sighs> Got to practice. Awesome. Awesome, man. Are you? I like this piece. He's, uh, he's curving me a wood spirit. Maybe I'll have to send you one of my shitty things compared to your stuff there, Paul. Um, are you filming for it? I'd love to see you film for it. What is that? Cloud base? I always struggle to decide what to put on burls. Evil Rick. Thanks for being here, Evil. Hi, Claire. Hi, Spike. They're probably sleeping. So, yeah, I think I'll probably carve a friggin'. I'm not going to put any beard hairs or anything in here, this part of it. Just leave it the way it is. From trees to these, how you doing? The back, are you talking to Rob? Well, I felt yesterday, I felt like at the end of the day, I threw out my back too. So there's like another hour long video coming out this weekend for any of you that want to watch it. Those are, I don't mind making those videos because I, I don't have to, I don't have to do one thing. I can kind of just do whatever I want to do. Awesome. Looks like. Yeah, you got you got unique pieces for sure. I like them because they're well, I like your pieces because you can make any different types of wood spirit faces, right? And they're not you don't have to have crazy detail. You just kind of like I tell people in my videos, as long as you can get that nose and eyebrows to pop off, then you can curve any type of face that you want. Thanks for popping in, Kelly. How many people's in here? I guess I better curve so people don't start wanting to shoot me. Break time's over. Yeah, I'm going to curve. Uh, I might not focus too much filming, but I'm going to curve uh, 
eagle head thunderbird here, but I'm going to have to move it around. I'll, I'll zoom out. So you guys can see the large scale of it. So I'm just going to quickly draw it on. I'm just going to carve it <clears throat> till I think it's proportion enough. So I, my eagles, I like them to have more square beaks, like squaring at the top where it comes down here. So there to there. That's just for me. And then we got his eye here. So Stephen Kenzora said a bigger beak looks better than a smaller beak. So that's not really good there. You don't really see it. Well, I guess you do when you're, yeah. I guess that will be all right. I'm just going to start carving. How's that? Get this bullshit done and over with. Tommy, did that did that lady did you send the lady the bark that won it? She sent me an email or something saying that she gifted me a piece of the bark that she won or something. I don't know. I really didn't understand. So, anyways, let's carve a eagle head thing here. I should carve it so it's like uh like this. Yeah, I'll figure it out. So I'm just going to cut this part off right here. I'm going to flatten this out here. I'm going to flatten all this out. Okay. So we'll redraw it on again. So that's better. I shaped it so it's more looking this way than not up. Come on. So there's my beak. Then your eye right there. Then your eye would be right here. So the, the beak comes to below the eye. So then we'll just, it's going to be a real simplistic one. They say that your lip, your beak lip should come to your eye. Then we'll bring this back. Give a little cheekbone in here. So then I'll cut across the top here too. You guys think it's going to turn out? And it doesn't matter if it doesn't turn out. Okay, so...
And I'll start taking this uh, beak down. It's hard to work on this piece actually. Okay. Sorry, I'm not really explaining what I'm doing. Shit. Okay, it needs a bottom lip. Okay, now I gotta switch the burrow. I gotta use a. Uh... Ha! I don't know what I gotta use. Let's um. These are metal working burrs, and you get the little ones in here. Let's use this little, uh, this little flame one here. Sorry, everybody. I need to get some better lighting here for myself.
Oh oh. Oh oh. Done it this time, Jordy. Uh oh. Uh oh. I shit the bed on this one with that eye. That's okay. Maybe it's a seagull. Let's see here. Where's that? Where's my favorite diamond bird? Is this it? Yeah, let's do some burning on this. See if we can save it. Probably not, but... I just can't see very good right now. Okay, where's my, uh, this is an aluminum cutting burr. I'll cut some uh, feathers in it. Whatever they're called. What else can I curve on this? Maybe I could curve a finger here. Like, come here like this. 
think I'm gonna. Because I can. Maybe I'll carve a bunch of fingers on it. Try and justify that eagle head. We're just gonna basically carve the fingernails. Let's switch over. What the hell? I'll be done in a minute. Switch over to one of these really tall, uh, small metalworking. Uh, sorry, the three-point cutters from China. These ones. Actually, I guess I should draw it on first. So, fingernail. Fingernail. I just don't care. For all those people who are like, why would he carve a fingernail? carving fingernails because I want to carve fingernails.
Uh oh. Where'd I put my wood? Where'd I put my thing thing? Let's sand it first. what happens when you carve like a spouse and you can't find your burrs that you need to that you need to find there's a thumbnail then there's a finger fingernail here too but I need to find that burr that burns the things there it is I don't even think that's my favorite one that See, I have, I'm looking at this uh, tray here. That's my burr tray. <laughs> I can't stand it when I lose a favorite burr. And it seems like I've lost it. Mentally. This one will have to do, but... They're just burnt out diamond bits. See it's pointy. This one doesn't burn that good. One doesn't burn that good at all. Where the frick is my other one? No oh well. I heard a Harley outside. That's it. Couple fingernails. I gotta put the flap sander back on my Dremel. Get out of here. This is sanding module you can get on Amazon. I think they're in my uh, Amazon store. That's it.
So we got this one that we started out with, this face, then we got this some kind of eagle head thing, then we got a thumbnail, <laughs> and then we got a fingernail. So yeah, that's that. Uh. <laughs> I think I need to put another fingernail right here. Huh? <laughs> Maybe even one back here. Uh. What do you think of the fingernails? Oh, Amy, you made it. What do you guys think of the fingernails? The thumbnails? I need to carve one here, too. More fingers. I can even carve like one kind of coming out here. Let's see. I don't care. I'm just screwing around having fun. So this one would kind of be the tail end of it. Oh, well, uh, oh boy. I'm gonna have to do some I'm going to have to do some removing of wood before I can cut in these nails. But let me have a little break. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. They sink more nails. Who wants to be like other artists, not me? I do not. So what did I use here? Oh, yeah, I used this one. That's so much one I used, yeah. So there's my what burner bit right here. Oh, you guys going to see this sucker burn awesome once I'm done this. Get rid of this piece of junk diamond burner. I looked at it too, but I didn't even know that that was it. Whatever. I do not want to be original. Why don't you want to be original, man? I don't know if this one's too rotten, if I can put one on there or not. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Uh, I'm going to have to get one here too, but that's pretty broken. Where's my asteroid? I got. That one looks like it's upside down. That looks like a little monster. This looks like a little monster's face in here. Anyways. Uh oh.
shit. Shoot, I mean. Okay, this one here. <laughs> so it's, I, I do it kind of like fish scales. So you remove, like this would be the end of the finger right here, so I remove this wood here so your nail sticks higher off, then I sink it in, in the back. If anybody wants to carve fingernails. Okay, this one here is pretty...
Okay, let's shape a couple of these fingers a bit better. Then we're done. Come on, you son of a... Stand by. Tori. This one's just pissing me off. See, at first I was just doing the fingernails, but now I'm like starting to round the fingers off. But it's just stupid. Anyways. So, okay. what's what anymore. Okay, now where's that? My favorite wood-burning diamond burr. Oh. 
Oh yeah, there you go. No, oh, don't touch it. Sign it. Okay, we'll just swip off this uh, sander with scotch brake and call her done. So ridiculous. There you go. So we got a thumb up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. The Thunderbird head and the Wood Spirit. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, that's perfect. What a mess this table is. Hey, Scott and Chair. Hey, Sal. What do you guys think of the, what do you think, just cars, what, Scar, Rob's still here? I know he's dealing with the bad back. We started with this wood spirit here, but we uh, had a blowout where this piece broke off, so we just kept on carving. And we... Needed some fingers. On this piece. Anyways. That shall be that. Let's curve what you want. I 
I hate sitting at this table when it's all dusty and shit. Kind of drives me a little bit nuts. And you got to wonder why I'm a wood carver. So for all you guys who just got here, I, I use this um, round carver, the cube carver to carve it. I'm going to, uh, just give me a second here. I'm going to clean up my table with the, my shop back thing. anybody got any questions how long has this live been going on for an hour 35 I spent an hour and 35 minutes on this silly piece i probably should cut this thing off and carve a nail in this one too one well, and this one this one's rotten but Thanks, Rump. Jeez, you didn't need to do that. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. But that's not why I do these lives. What do you think of the, the finger piece? Now you can't even really see what's going on with that. Amy. Thanks, Amy. That's enough. Thanks, guys and girls. And whatever you want to be. I don't think you get more original than that. So when somebody sees this piece, the first thing they'll see is the fingernails. They'll see the fingernails. This is how my artistic mind works. They'll see the fingernails. I'll be like, what the hell is the fingernails? And they'll see the eagle head. Then their mind will, their eyes will take them back to this um, old burnout wood spirit. I could carve that wood spirit some details if I wanted to. It's cool if you like fingernails, Rump. Thanks, Rumpel. I appreciate it. Thanks, Amy. Pie time. This car, Rob, you gotta you probably shouldn't be eating any more pie, buddy. No, I want to go get a pie. I could spray this with a clear coat too, but there's no there's no reason to. See, I screwed up that eagle eye, but I think I kind of saved it. Finger licking good, Chris. Coconut cream pie, Jordy, just carved Rob. Oh, you bugger. You bugger, you. I don't even know what I'm going to have for dinner. Well, I got some chicken nuggets left from yesterday. Now I got to make a pie. Go make a pie for your husband there, Amy. Has anybody got any wood carving questions? KFC. Yeah, I'd like to go get a KFC uh, chicken burger. But I got to go into the mall for that. Let's 
just focus on these fingers for a bit. So that's how you curve fingernails. You just, you curve deeper with the fingernails in the back. And then you curve around the front. You curve that away so the fingernails sticks off. So it's like fish scales overlapping, right? Deeper, then higher, then deeper. What else could I carve on this? That's good enough. I see all sorts of shit. Wanna be nerd? Weird, it shows different on my phone than it does on the screen. That's why I'm sliding it. Burn it, Jordy. Burn this piece. I don't think it I don't think it needs anything else really. You know, I could detail that wood spirit's face, but nah, I'm kind of done with it. Kind of, I wasn't even going to carve anything today. I was going to clean my place. I got to hire a maid. Thanks, Rump. Burn a little. Yeah, I couldn't really see where burning would give any character here like it could burn in here and stuff like that but I don't think it needs it it's the well I could but I just uh, water test sure here's my Windex water bottle There you go. Now the fingers really stick out. Now everything that I carved really sticks out. Then it really makes your little mistakes pop out too. Like around this fingernail, see where it, it didn't cut it very good and I burnt it in the wrong place. This one looks good. Burn the outlines on the nails. I did. I used a uh, diamond burr. Oh, no, it's not going to burn it now. Does anybody got any questions? Thanks, Linda. Yeah, I probably will put a wood finish on it if I want to. It is what it is. But you see how dark the gray stuff goes? What else do I got around here that I carved? Nothing really. I got to finish that eagle. If any of you guys aren't subscribed to my other channel, I've been working on an, an eagle. Question. Want to be nerd. Can I ask what mic setup you use? The tool, downdraft table, and your voice balance? Well, thanks. Um, I don't know. I just got a, um, a noise reduction headset microphone. I don't um, know what 
what it's called. It's just the cheap Amazon one. Trust me, don't even, don't even, microphones are my biggest struggle. Like, I really don't care how I film and what I film, but when it comes to the microphone, this mic, I don't even like that much. So this mic is my noise reduction mic. I'm going to unplug it for a second. I'm plugging my other mic where I talk. Now am I tapping the mic? So this is the mic that I I do the talking with when I'm at my table. But this mic, if it's too close to your mouth or your nose, you can hear the heavy breathing, right? Can you hear does it sound like I'm tapping on the mic? Thanks, Mike. No, well, that's right here. I'm going to just lift this thing up if I want to get at it. Because when I do the uh, friggin' stuff, stuff, the friggin' stuff, stuff with the poly shade stuff, it splats everywhere. I don't want it to splat, splat on this machine. But you see the difference for the two mics? So, and when I'm chainsaw carving, I got to figure out that other mic that I have so it's not so you guys don't hear me huffing and puffing. I have no what type of type of wood this is no clue but it's kind of spalted it's just a root piece with a bunch of it would be like a like a rose plant or like a you know, a, like a small shrub uh, root piece. And bark is dusty. Yeah, bark can be dusty to carve, really. Especially the um, the Douglas fir. It's like carving fiberglass. You get so itchy. No problem. So, yeah, I, for Dremel carving, I just use cheap Amazon mics. I've spent so much money on them. I even bought some other ones that um, have noise reduction and they don't work very good. But just uh, Google the noise reduction. You can get, like, the, the lavalier type mics, too. Like, I bought this one and it doesn't even work. It's a little lavalier mic. that clips onto you. I got like six of these things. Cause I just, I don't know. I just, it's like I get frustrated and what else I got here? I don't know. I think sound quality is important. <clears throat> Thanks rump. Where are you again? You're in Canada? <clears throat> I could probably send this to you. I don't I don't need it. But I hate shipping. I will eventually I still gotta ship uh, Sean Brooks piece out too. Sean, if you're there, if you watch this. Tim, oh, you're the one. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. You're the one with the bark in um, medicine hat. <clears throat> Hi, bud. How are you doing? 
Uh, Bud, everybody, uh, Rump, I didn't know that you were the one in medicine hat, but, um, yeah, so just make sure you, like, I don't know if you guys still have snow there or not, but he's going to be selling bark and, um, we're going to have a couple new people selling bark in the groups, I believe. I got to talk to the admins about the other one because I'm not in the, the bigger group, but my smaller members group. That group is, if you're a member on here, then you can be a member on that Facebook group. Cool. Yeah, so whenever you, I don't know, I just, I don't know what I'm going to do with this piece. You can maybe have it. <clears throat> Well, let's all give Bud a positive. Let's hope the cancer is gone. Here's a positive thought for Bud. Okay, tons, have a good sleep. I want to see some carving on bark. What do you mean, Amy? I sent you cottonwood bark. You got some. Thanks, Linda. Take care, Lance. Thanks for popping in. Praying prayers for Bud. I think I'm going to get out of here, too. I got to decide what I'm going to have for dinner. I know I want to see carvings done on bark. Amy, I have like 700 videos curving the bark. I don't know. Who thinks I should make some more wood spirit videos? I haven't made any because I just thought maybe everybody's sick of them. How about pizza? Pizza could be a good idea. Oh, you're being judged, Amy. I judge you like I judge Liz. Wood spirit, wood spirit. Yeah, wood spirits. I'll see how I feel tomorrow. I don't know if I'm... I got to go to my cedar slab guy and... I got Oh, I got to go out too. I don't know if I'll be carving tomorrow. I got to go do a bunch of stuff. <clears throat> Pick up my little 2511 that was um, fixed. Discard, Rob. Look what you did, Amy. You opened up a can of worms. That, uh, I don't know if you guys remember that little owl lamp that I made, but that's sold at the store today. Chris, Mr. Chris, how you doing, buddy? Thanks, Chris. No need for that, though, but thank you. Chris is the one that was in the magazine, everybody. Woodcarver's Illustrated. <clears throat> There's one of his birdhouses right there. Did uh, so when I use the um <clears throat> when I use that, excuse me, when I use that uh the friggin' thing thing, the friggin' cordless saw, Chris, did I sell you on it? I I I like it. I used it a lot yesterday too, actually. We got another Jordy Does video. It's funny, Just Car Rob uh, pointed out to me my last Just Car uh, Jordy Does video. I, it said Jordy Does number two, like Jordy shits. <laughs> you know the longer Jordy Does videos? It was Jordy Does number two. So he says, hey, Jordy, the title of your video is pretty funny. So I uh, I looked at it right away and I changed it to not number two. I said part two. <laughs> Saving for the saw, bro. Good, Chris. You'll like it. I like it a lot better with the um, the 50 gauge chain on it. That's for sure. And I'm not sponsored by Steel. Steel doesn't even know who I am. And I really don't care. 
I didn't like it with the 50 gauge chain, I'd say it. But with those battery saws, you got to make sure you have sharp chains. Go with all saws. <laughs> yeah, Jordy does part. Jordy does number two. <laughs> oh, so there is uh, Jordy does that. That last Jordy does video took me like six hours to edit it because I filmed it in, um, <clears throat> excuse me, 4K. And it slows everything down. But the next one I filmed it in uh, HD. So I think it's like an hour long. Thanks, Pam. You know, that owl, I, I hate that owl. My buddy Stu's buying it. I can't, I, everybody likes that owl so much, but I cannot stand that owl. That fat owl on the books. I hate it. I hate everything about it. It was carving yellow cedar. Super pungent wood to carve. And, um, yeah, I just wasn't, the th I'm not, I don't like it. It seems cool. Yeah, you know, we all have our pieces that we don't like. No, the, yeah, the fluff owls. You know, the little, where's that little owl? The little owl that I just, I'm going to go get it. Because we got to have a talk about that owl. Just because Rob thinks the eyes are too far apart. Me and Rob, um, we, we give honest opinions of our carvings. One sec. This owl here, I basically carved it out of a fence post. It was a square post, but this carved Rob says the eyes are too far apart, but he doesn't like it because it's it's not a carving fusion fluff owl. That's his, yep. It's not the it's not the fat fluff owl carving fusion usually does. Anyways. I just said, I said, maybe the eyes aren't too far apart. The eyes are just, they guys got the big glass eyes in there. Let's do the water test on this right now too. Well, I got the, um, this, I carved this in like, I don't know, four hours or five hours or six hours in one day. That's a lot of carving for a Dremel all the way around. Maybe that's why I don't carve full 360. Where's my water bottle? Maybe that's why I don't carve 360 pieces with my Dremel because it's just too much work. Anyways. Untreated to treat it. We already had a number two video. <laughs> that and a mushroom.
Mushrooms are easy to carve. Amy, look at pictures of chanterelle mushrooms. Actually, you know, I've been re uh, wanting to carve a mushroom video lately. Make a mushroom video. Anyways, does anybody got any questions? Thanks for popping in, bud, and I hope you're um, hope you're gonna start feeling better soon. Well, maybe you're feeling good, but I had to watch my mom uh, deal with radiation. It didn't work for her; she passed away. But let's keep our uh, positive thoughts uh, for you. Yeah, actually, you want to hear something funny? That um, on my other, <clears throat> excuse me, on my other channel, I did that uh, eagle, and then uh, feather was like uh, twisty and turtles, and I think it was on the other channel, the eagle head. But it was um, lessons on mushrooms. They're simple. You just carve the caps and you glue the. It doesn't have to be a full piece mushroom. You're just gonna save so much more time carving the caps separate than gluing the the stalks into the cap <clears throat> excuse me i'm doing good thanks uh what was i saying uh take it easy chris what was i saying i forget i totally forget what i was saying does anybody remember what i was saying anyways just thought i'd keep this just just carved Rob probably left after I brought this out. Mushroom. Mushrooms? Yeah, but I said they're easy to carve. Lance, I thought you're leaving. Mushrooms, I said they're easy to carve, but oh yeah, think of chanterelle mushrooms. You, you know, because you don't want your mushrooms to look like dinks. Like maybe you do want it to look like a dink dink head. I don't know, but I don't. So um Oh, something's here. Um, look up sh chanterelle mushrooms because they got like the flat, wavy tops. Thanks from trees to these. From trees to these. Also, I got to think of another name for my uh, channel, other channel too, because I'm gonna do more crafty stuff on it in the winter time. Uh, the eagle on the other channel. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you, Bailey. Thanks. Um, that eagle thing that I carved. I think it was on the other channel with that had the funky uh, circles in the wing and stuff like that. The weird lines. Like, and it didn't. It just. It, it was just stupid to me. So I threw it away actually today. I'm like, I'm. I don't want to look at this piece ever again. I don't want to finish carving it. And I, I don't care. I, I tell people don't burn their first carvings. Well, I've done 10,000 carvings. Friggin' get rid of that thing. I never want to see it again. Yeah, so I, I threw it away. Crafty carving. That's a good one, Pam. So I threw that piece of uh, that carving away. Looks like a Bigfoot got his, <laughs> yeah, crafty carving. Does anybody got any questions? I'm kind of, that's why I just kind of do the Jordy does videos because I'm kind of just needing a break of like saying, okay, well, you need to do this. You need to do that. You need to do this. You should do that. And it's just my opinion. And you should just do that. You should do that. And just kind of make the Jordy does videos where I'm like, okay, well, I'm doing this now. And this is what I'm doing now. And then I, I might do this, but I might do that, but I might not. But maybe I might, but maybe I won't, but I might. 
but okay, so I'm doing this now, but I might do that, but I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. But hold on a second. Yeah, I'm going to do it. And then I'll do that after. And then I'll get back to doing this. That works better for me when I can be that way. Thanks, Dusty. Jordy does videos. Thanks. What do you guys think about the Jordy does videos, the longer ones? Are they too long for you guys? It's more of a kind of kickback and... Thanks, Linda. Because sometimes when I make the how-to videos, I'm like, why am I even showing a how-to video when I don't even know how to do it? There's another Jordy Does video. I was finishing off a, a light, well, it's still not finished, but a lighthouse. I've been working on a friend. For, thanks, everybody. Working for a friend as a gift. And what else did I do? Oh, I carved a, I carved a friggin' thing thing. Yeah, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's, if I'm going to do it or if I'm not going to do it, but I'll think about it after the coffee. And once I have my coffee, I'll think about if I'm going to do it or not do it, but I probably will do it. But then again, I don't know what, if I'll do it after I do that. I might have to do that before I do this. Yeah, that's how my mind works. Just carve, Gary. Do you carve there in um, uh, Port Alberta, Gary? Uncle Kevin there lives in Courtney. I'm going to be coming through Port uh, Port Alberni. Um, I was thinking maybe this summer I want to do a little road trip. I'm not 100%, but I want to show more people of Vancouver Island. Take my saws and find some private little areas and go do some carvings to give to the little towns that I'm going to. Maybe. I don't know. It's just something I thought about. Does anybody got any questions? Because I'm getting, it's been two hours. You should try it, Gary. Thanks, Bailey. Michelle. Because uh, Port Alberni has some huge, huge trees. Yeah, Jordy does road trip. Yeah, good idea, Chris. There you go. Jordy does road trip. Uh, we'll be going back to Vancouver Island. Well, if you have the bug, then just do it. That's why the wood spirits are good because, you know, once you get those nose to, and the eyebrows to pop off, then you can carve any kind of face that you want, really. Pie. Pie, pie, pie time for the pie. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I got to go, everybody, too. I got to go make some dinner. Maybe I'll order a pizza. Hey, Rooster Ron from Kentucky. How you doing? Thanks for the um, super chats, everybody. And Rumpel, I'll put this uh, aside for you. We can talk. Thanks for thanks everybody. Later tater. Hey, maybe I'll, I think I got some tater tarts in the freezer. Maybe I'll put them in the um the, the air fryer. Okay, that's it. Carving fusion. Don't shit your pants. Carving fusion overall. Thanks everybody. <laughs>